Having a 68-year-old history, the secret recipe of Dunkin' Donuts hasn't changed since it was first created way back in the 1940s. Most locations across the country still make all of their donuts fresh every single morning from a back-of-the-house kitchen. And the ones that don't make fresh donuts receive newly made rings from a nearby central kitchen very early in the morning. The result is fluffy, warm, evenly coated donuts that would leave you in awe at every single bite. To make Dunkin' Donuts, cake donut mix and water are measured proportionally and mixed thoroughly together. And the batter is left to rest for it to rise. After the batter is rested, you load up a dispensing hopper with the batter, which then pours and cuts rings of batter evenly into a giant vat of hot oil kept consistently at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. The cut donuts are left to fry for 45 seconds on one side. Then, every single donut is flipped in less than 10 seconds before letting the other side fry for another 45 seconds. The donuts are eventually ready and move on to the next stage. Glazing. These donuts are placed on a rack and passed through a glazing machine, which is evenly spread on each donut. Since 1950, Dunkin' Donuts has been known for its dozens of donut flavors including the classic glazed and Boston cream. The top 17 ranked Dunkin' Donuts flavors are strawberry frosted, blueberry glazed, chocolate butternut, oil fashioned, powdered, Bavarian cream, coconut, maple, vanilla frosted, vanilla cream, chocolate cream, jelly, apple fritter, Boston cream, French cruller, glazed, and chocolate frosted. Dunkin' Donuts sells more coffee than donuts, and about 60% of the company's sales come from its beverages. Though the donut is still part of their menu, it's believed that people see it as more as a treat or as a result. When most people think about pastries, they think of fattening food, comfort food, or whatnot. However, they are quick snacks to replenish your energy on the go. The history of Dunkin' Donuts dates back to 1946 when a young businessman named William Rosenberg opened an industrial luncheon service that provided food and snacks to Boston area factory workers. The company's success and the fact that 40% of its business came from coffee and donuts inspired Rosenberg to open a coffee and donut shop in Quincy, Massachusetts in 1949. He called this shop Open Kettle, but two years later, he eventually changed the company's name to what is popularly known today as Dunkin' Donuts. In 1955, Rosenberg signed his initial franchise agreement, allowing others to operate Dunkin' Donuts stores, and the first overseas store, located in Japan, was opened in 1970. Their largest store has 130 seats and was opened in Bangkok, Thailand in 1988. As of 2002, Dunkin' Donuts offered 52 varieties of donuts, selling approximately 6.4 million of them each day. Sales came from over 12,900 Dunkin' Donuts outlets in 42 countries, making it the world's largest coffee, donut, and bagel franchise in the world. There is no top company in the world without competitors, and this is the same for Dunkin' Donuts. There are many other similar companies that compete with Dunkin' Donuts for customers including companies such as Starbucks, Krispy Kreme, McDonald's, Subway, Yum! Brands, and Dutch Bros Coffee. The total revenue of all the mentioned companies in 2019 was $78.383 billion. They specialize in making delicious treats, and many of these companies have been in business for a long time. A few have even been in business longer than Dunkin' Donuts, like Krispy Kreme, which was founded in 1937, 13 years before the founding of Dunkin' Donuts. Few of them are well known for their donuts, and Dunkin' Donuts' biggest rival is Starbucks. Do you go to Dunkin' Donuts for the coffee or the donuts? Leave your answer in the comments section below.